versus its exchange value, what is profitable is the f***ing crisis. Before we blame boomers, banks and bureaucrats, there is a much, much simpler explanation and a very easy solution to the whole thing. And the answer comes from none other than Karl Marx. Yes, the genius himself. Now we will get into what the solution is, so stick around. But first, we need to understand why there is a housing crisis at all. It's because there is a contradiction in the provision of housing within the capitalist system. A struggle between opposing forces and it's severely out of balance. Housing has two distinct values, a use value and an exchange value. It's use value, meaning it is a home. It's used for shelter, sanctuary, and socialization. Its exchange value means it is a marketable item. It is a speculative value for investment purposes. Up until the rise of neoliberalism in the 1970s, housing was seen less as an investment and more of a family home, a place of residence. Now, even if you owned your own home privately, your house was not a financial instrument. In places like Britain and Australia, public housing was issued to the population en masse. Society let that happen because everyone was seen to have a right to a decent living space as a citizen. Imagine that, how outrageous, providing housing outside of the market. But since then, the complete privatization of housing provision has established a culture where the predominant view of housing is not somewhere to live, but a commodity to be traded. The contradiction between use and exchange is currently in overdrive. When people buy a house today, they aren't looking for the best home, but what will give them the best return in the future. That is a dramatic shift in our psyche. Housing delivery is completely focused, not on providing quality housing for citizens, but the most profitable product for developers and investors. And so, we have a housing crisis where average people are squeezed out of the market thanks to property speculation by developers turn out seemingly endless, crappy, high-density apartments and sprawling suburbs, but demand is never satisfied. This paradox cannot be cracked by our economists. Oh no, not even those brilliant intellectuals. There is an obvious need, but the market will not respond because it doesn't produce the right returns. Danger, danger. This contradiction between what is needed, the use value of housing versus its exchange value, what is profitable is the fucking crisis. Oh, I get it. The balance is all gone. It is all exchange and no use today. The question then needs to be asked, how do we honestly solve this contradiction? Well, in a system where even those looking to break into the market can't even get what they need, then there has to be a radical change in housing provision, not supply. We need public housing to counterbalance the market, which has systematically failed to match real demand. But this idea is toxic to the current cultural view of housing as an asset. To now turn to public housing provision would amount to an attack on freedom. No, actually worse. It would be an admission that we were wrong about leaving housing up to the market. The truth of the matter is, one which I think we can all agree on, the invisible hand of the market cannot meet people's basic needs on its own. Hence why even the mainstream media describes the situation as a f***ing crisis. If the market cannot provide for both people's needs and investments, then we need to separate them. Simple, like two children not getting along. There really is no need to look at this any more intricately, like discussing interest rates, bank lending, government policies, town planning rules, or migration patterns. All of these factors are symptoms, not the disease. That is really important to grasp. If people's basic housing needs are guaranteed, then investors can have a market for housing on top of that. Like where you have public and private schools existing in the same system, or public and private hospitals. Public housing doesn't mean we're on the path to communism, just moments away from being thrown into a gulag. We are just talking about providing decent housing choice 
to people in your country. But if we keep looking to the market to solve a crisis that it created, then that is just insane. Decent housing is a human right. What we really need is to set up a society where that is a reality. Remember.